Stampeders defensive back Keon Raymond is one of the most talented defensive players in the entire CFL. On the field, his skill and football IQ put fear in the eyes of opposing quarterbacks, but it's what he does off the field that makes him the player he is today. It's important to make sure you get rest, but it's important to make sure you don't take too much time out because you have to make sure you don't take that much time to get back into shape, you know, and, and um, I think the biggest thing is how you train for the season is what you do in the offseason to make sure you're, uh, you're getting stronger, getting faster, and make sure you're mentally ready. Raymond says it's crucial to be in top shape right from the get-go, rather than having to work your way back when training camp begins. When he can be in 30 years of age and he can show up some of the young guys from day one, that's the big thing. So it's, uh, it's, it's nice mentally to be able to do that. And uh, obviously, yeah, you, know, you want your physical condition to be up really high and you want to make sure that you're in a position from day one to, to be able to succeed. And so when he does do that and, and uh, you know, he's, he's happy with how he feels, then that, that means an awful lot to both, obviously both him and me as well. What I've been focusing on and me and my trainer Adam is uh, been focusing on just a lot of injury prevention, you know, um, making sure I'm able to play those 20 games this year. You know, last year I missed two games and, and, and I credit it probably to my offseason workout. I wasn't doing what I wanted to do in the offseason. Keon calls crash conditioning home during the offseason. With the reputation for training high caliber athletes, Raymond knew that crash was the right fit. I went out and, and, and found one of the uh, the best guys in the city, probably in one of the uh, in the country, you know, and to uh, to train me and focus on you know the things that I needed to do, and uh, he's put me in a position where I need to be. I think that you know his speed, he's he's a fast guy already. You know, the guy's one of the smartest guys in the league right now. So I I don't worry about that in terms of his actual on-field uh, mechanics and stuff like that. He knows what to do, but uh, there's definitely some things that we had to address a little bit with him and, and his movement. And, that he's done that, he works, works his butt off every day. He's been phenomenal uh, in the last four or five months, so it's, it's been good. The West Division All-Star takes pride in being a role model on the field and in the gym as well. It's a joy, you know, because I, I come in there and I see some of the, uh, the young guys, some of them are a bit stunned, you know, they're, oh, it's Keon Raymond, you know, and, but to, uh, to see that the hard work that I put in, you know, it's just not like, oh, I go out and I make plays and people know who I am and, I mean, but they see the, uh, the work, you know, behind the camera. They see me in her sweat and they see me in her doing the hard things. One of my coaches is like, you know what, train like you're the worst, but play like you're the best. And, you know, one of the young guys came and tweeted that to me. It's like, you know, quotes from Mr. Raymond. So it's, uh, it's pretty good to, uh, to kind of get those guys inspired, but to also see that, you know, this guy works hard, you know, day in and day out. With training camp now underway, Raymond will finally be able to trade in the dumbbells for the pigskin. You know what, I, I've been telling Adam uh, the last couple of days, man, I enjoy spending time with him, but I'm tired of seeing him. <laughs> I'm ready to get back out on the, uh, on the field, you know. I think the preparation we've done this offseason, I'm looking forward to, to getting back on. For Go Calgary, I'm Dan Clovis.